Hey everyone, how are you? In this video, we are going to solve the lead code problem of the day and the problem is longest harmonious subsequence. Now the problem category is of easy level and I would say it's actually a very easy question to solve. And after watching this video and understanding the approach, you are going to find it very easy. So the input given in the problem is an integer array nums and the output we need to give, we need to return the length of its longest harmonious subsequence. That is, we need to find longest harmonious subsequence in our given array nums and we need to return the length of it. Now you might be asking that what is a harmonious subsequence? Let us try to understand it. So basically a harmonious subsequence is an array in which the difference between the maximum element and the minimum element is exactly one. So basically any array in which when you find the max element and the min element that is the maximum and the minimum their difference will exactly be one. So let us see one example of it. In the example, the given array nums is 1, 3, 2, 2, 5, 2, 3, 7. Now this is your given input array nums. You need to find a harmonious subsequence out of it. Now what is a subsequence? Basically you can select any element of your array in the same order in which the elements are in the array from left to right and that will be a subsequence. For example, I can select 3, 2 and let us say 3. So 3, 2, 3 is a subsequence of my given array nums or maybe 1, 2, 2. 3, 7. 1, 2, 2, 3, 7 is also a subsequence of my given array nums. What we need to find out is the longest harmonious subsequence and return its length. So basically we just need to find out the length which is possible for the longest harmonious subsequence and for the given input the output is 5. 5 means in this array there is a subsequence which is of length 5 and which is a valid harmonious subsequence or a valid harmonious array. What is the harmonious subsequence or array? Basically when you find the maximum and minimum, their difference is exactly 1 in the given subsequence. So in this particular array, there is a subsequence which is 3, 2, 2, 2, 3. This is your subsequence which is a harmonious subsequence. It has a length of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the output is 5. Basically we need to return the length. And the thing is, we don't even need to find this. We just need to find the length, right? How this is a harmonious subsequence? The maximum element is 3. The minimum element is 2, right? So 3 minus 2 is exactly equal to 1. Other elements are 2, 2, 3. So out of this step subsequence, the max is 3, min is 2, difference is 1. This is a harmonious subsequence. Now in this same array, there is another harmonious subsequence which is 1, 2, 2, 2. So 1, 2, 2, comma 2. This is also a harmonious subsequence because the maximum is 2, the minimum is 1, their difference is exactly 1. But the length is 4. It has 1, 2, 3, 4 elements. And the output has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. You need to find the length of longest harmonious subsequence and that is why the output in this case is 5. Let us see one more example. Let us say your array is 1, 2, 3, 4. It has 4 elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this case the output is 2. And basically you can create 3 different subsequences which are harmonious subsequence. It can be 1, 2. It can be 2, 3. It can be 3, 4. 3, 4. All these different subsequences are valid harmonious subsequence because in this one max is 2, min is 1, difference is 1. Max is 3, min is 2, difference is 1. Max is 4, min is 3, difference is 1. We basically need to return the length, right? So the length of these subsequences, these harmonious subsequences are 2, right? So you can basically return 2 and that is going to be the output in this case. Now one of the valid subsequence but not a harmonious subsequence can be 1, 3 and 4. So 1, 3, 4 is a subsequence but it is not harmonious that's because the max is 4, min is 1, this is max, this is min. Their difference is 3 right? The difference should be 1 and that is why in this case although the length of this subsequence is more than 2, it is 3, the length is 3 but it is not harmonious so we are not going to consider this. Now let us see one more example which is very important to understand if your given array is 1, 1, 1, 1. Basically you cannot create any harmonious subsequence from this given array that is because maybe you can choose 1 and 1 and 1 1 comma 1 comma 1 max is 1 min is 1 their difference is 0 right the difference has to be 1 right and that is why you have no array or no subsequence for which you can say that it is a valid harmonious subsequence of your given array nums in this case the question says that you should return 0 now let us try to understand how can we solve this question and basically we are trying to understand what is the thought process behind solving this. How can you even think about what the approach to solve it. Now let us say the example is 1, 3, 2, 2, 5, 2, 3, 7. That's your given array. In this case the output was 5. 
basically this was your harmonious subsequence which has the highest or longest length i would say the very important concept which you need to understand just by looking to the question is what is a harmonious subsequence any subsequence or array in which max minus min is one right now let us say this is a subsequence right of this particular given array nums if i add any element to this array or a subsequence which is not two or not three let us say i want to add one into this if i add one into this particular subsequence then there is a big problem the problem is the minimum element is going to change now the minimum element was two now the minimum element is one the maximum is still three right so three minus one is equal to two and this is not a valid harmonious subsequence from here you need to understand that your harmonious subsequence or your harmonious sub array or array will have exactly two unique elements that is because if you have more than two unique elements let us say you have three unique elements in your data the elements are x y and z right in this case you can consider any of the element as max let us say y is the max and x is the min for sure y minus x is not going to be equal to one and that is because if this is the minimum right and this is the maximum right in this case the order of this x y z is going to be x z y that's the max that's the min right and remember all these three are different right all these three are unique if all these three are unique then the difference between x and y cannot be one let us say the elements are one comma two comma three all are unique right this is the max this is the min their difference is two right it's not one and it cannot be one if you want the difference to be one this has to be two right so it will be two comma two comma three and now you will see that it has two unique elements and that is what i want to say if you want to create an array or a subsequence in which the difference between max and min is exactly equal to one then in this case your array cannot have more than two unique element or i would say it should have exactly two unique elements even if you have an array in which there is just one unique element for example one comma one comma one this is not harmonious that's because the max is one min is one their difference is zero right so your array or subsequence will exactly have two unique element and there is one more thing i know that and you know that the difference between max and min is exactly equal to one right so from here i can say that max will be equal to one plus min right you agree with me right now i can say i have two elements in my subsequence in my harmonious subsequence this is the max let us say element one is max element two is min so element one will be equal to element two plus one all right now we have some data some conclusion with us some concept with us using which we can solve this problem i can say i will use this formula i will put each of my element in my given array nums into this formula and i will check what is my element one all right let's do it if first element is one let me put it here let me say let me assume that this is my minimum element let's just assume okay if this is your minimum element then this is going to be element two right element two plus one is equal to two one plus one is two right so element one is going to be equal to two so now you have two elements with you the elements are one and two now the thing is we have put the value of element two as one we know that this one is in our array right based on this the value of element one is two i don't know if this two belongs to my array or not if this two exists in my array or not i don't know right i can see it is there but we don't know right we don't know from the program itself we are just right now scanning our array and we have just scanned one element i don't know two is about to come or not i will have to check that if the element one is two is it there in my array or not so one of the way we can do it is we can just loop through our array and find out do we have or not that is not optimized that is not a good way what i would say is you can just create a mapping of your data initially like a dictionary or a hash and what you can also do is i will tell you what you can do and i will tell you why would you do it you can just create the mapping in which the key will be your element and the value is going to be the number of times your element is there in your data that is one two three five seven these are my elements in my data and let us say that this is the mapping we have created for our data that's the map right we have one we have two we have three we have five we have seven these are the data we have in our array right one is one number of time two is three number of time three is two number of times five is one number of times and seven is one number of times right so basically one then we have two then we have three then we have five then we have seven right so that's the mapping which you have to store initially and then what you can do is you can just loop through your array 
and you can say okay let me utilize this formula which, which we know that how this formula came so i can say what if this one is my element two all right so based on this element one has to be two right is this two there in my array or not yes we have a two and we have a one right now using this one and using this two i can create a subsequence and we need to create the longest subsequence right the longest subsequence should have all the elements right from this mapping i know that we have one one number of times we have two three number of times right so using one and two i can create a subsequence of length four so we created a subsequence of length four and we can see that from our array as well it is one two 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 one comma two comma two comma two and it is a valid harmonious subsequence max minus min is equal to one right so as of now we have got a subsequence of length four right all right that's the best answer we have when we have scanned one right one is done now what about three okay let us say the three is our min element this is three the max element has to be four right but the thing is four is not in our array so we can just skip this three that's because we do not have three comma four subsequence right we do not have a four right so we cannot create a subsequence where three is going to be a min element now let's talk about the next one which is two when we have two as the min element the max is going to be three and three is there in our array so we have three two number of times we have two three number of times so we can create a subsequence with two comma three of length five right it is three plus two that is three two 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 three the length is one two three four five right our previous answer was four now the answer is going to be five right so with two i got an answer which is five with one i got an answer as four now again we can proceed and we can see okay with two i will again get the same answer which is five with five I will not get any answer because if 5 is min, 6 has to be there in my array, but 6 is not there. So we can ignore this one. Again, with 2, we are going to get the answer as 5. With 3, we are not going to get any answer. That's because we need a 4, right? Because 3 is the minimum. That's what we are assuming. And with 7, we are not going to get any answer because for 7, we need a 8. The best answer we have got is 5, right? And that's the output. And this is as simple as this. Just have this particular mapping and this is going to help you to create your harmonious subsequence. And let me try to show you how the solution is going to look like for this particular problem and it is very simple right you first create a counter of your array nums and let us say nums is equal to the counter of nums the result is zero that's the best answer we have initially then we are just going to run a loop in our nums for i in nums and if i plus one is there in nums then we are going to say result is equal to max value of existing result value and nums of i plus nums of i plus one and then we can return the value of result you can just submit this and this is going to pass all the test cases and the runtime will be really good. You can see the runtime is very good. And yes, we have used some memory and that is why this memory part you can see is not that good, but it is fine, right? That's the trade-off we have in time and space complexity. If you have to focus on the time complexity, you will have to deal with the space complexity as well, right? And that's completely fine, guys. So I think guys, we have solved this particular problem and I hope this video explains you the problem, the solution and the more important thing, the thought process and the in-depth intuition of this particular problem and if it did then make sure that you hit that like button and if you have not subscribed to the channel then i hope you subscribe to the channel i wish you subscribe to the channel that's because i want to see you guys again on my channel so that's it for this video guys i will see you guys in the next video i want to see you guys in the next video thank you for watching this one